you want to know why I think that a Lost Origin booster box will triple in value and Paldea Evolved will become one of the most valuable booster boxes in recent years, then this video is for you. Hi everyone and welcome back to Pokemonks. Today we're gonna take a look at a formula I used to believe that Lost Origin can triple in value in the future. We have seen a lot of price fluctuations for sealed booster boxes the last few weeks. Certain Sword and Shield booster boxes are gaining a lot of value, other boxes from Scarlet and Violet era are going below $100. So trying to get a little bit more clarity on Pokemon investing and not just put all our money into some sealed products and hope it will go up in value, I thought it would be a great idea to come up with a strategy that can lower our investment risk, make our investment choices more value-based and just give ourselves a handy tool to use when we are making decisions for potential investments. So what's about the formula I use to claim that a Lost Origin booster box will triple in value? The big element that comes into play right here is the cards that are inside a booster box. So if you want to measure the real value of a booster box, we need to take in consideration the value of the single cards from that set. Because it would be too much work and too irrelevant to take all single card prices, we just look at the value of the 10 most valuable cards from a specific set. Next question, which value do we take? The price of a raw copy or the price of a PSA 10 version? This is also an important topic to discuss. Why? We cannot just use this calculation without taking in consideration that the whole Pokemon industry changed over the last decade. The company decided to print cards to the ground after the 2020 boom and keeping your cards in perfect condition to grade them became a real thing for collectors and investors. For example, the price of a PSA 10 Lugia from Silver Tempest, a more recent set, is around double the price of a raw version. But the price of a PSA 10 Gengar from Platinum Arceus, which is already considered as a vintage set, is 58 times the price of a raw copy of this card. So the amount of copies of a certain card circulating in the market and the amount of copies in a pristine condition matter a lot to the value of a set and so to the value of a booster box. And that is the reason why I integrate both prices of raw and PSA 10 versions in my calculation. Now, what's the exact calculation I use for this formula? I make the sum of the prices from the top 10 chase cards raw of a certain set and divide these amounts by the current price of this booster box. The result we get means how many booster boxes we can actually buy today for the same amount of money than the top 10 chase cards in a raw version. And then after that, I will do the same for the top 10 chase cards in a PSA 10 version. Now let's look at the calculations from a couple of modern sets out of the Sun and Moon era and compare it to some more recent sets from the Sword and Shield era and Scarlet and Violet to make a more valuable projection for the future. First up, let's use this formula on a popular set from the Sun and Moon era, Cosmic Eclipse. I made a list of the top 10 chase cards from this list together with their raw prices and their PSA 10 prices. So the data shows us that the raw total of these cards is $993 and the PSA total is $2,592 with a booster box value of $850. So this means that if we use our formula, we get a ratio of 1.16. So what does that mean? We can buy 1.16 booster boxes from Cosmic Eclipse for the same amount of money than the raw total from the top 10 chase cards. And we get a ratio of 3.05, which means we can buy three booster boxes for the same price as the top 10 chase cards in a PSA 10. I applied the same formula on four other sets from the Sun and Moon era to get more reliable data. Interesting facts are that we can only buy 0.75 booster box of Team Up for the same raw value of its top 10 chase cards and 4.2 booster boxes of Ultra Prism for the same value as its top 10 chase cards in a PSA 10 version. On average, the results from our calculations are kind of following the same trend. If we would take an average of these calculations, we can conclude that on average, we can buy almost one booster box of a certain set for the price of its top 10 chase cards in a raw condition and that we can buy around 3.2 booster boxes for the price of their top 10 chase cards in a PSA 10 version. 
To make it a little bit more easy, just remember the numbers 1 and 3. We can buy 1 booster box for the raw prices and 3 booster boxes for the PSA 10 prices. Now let's compare this to a more recent set that is still pretty affordable today because it had one of the latest reprints from the Sword and Shield era and is one of the stronger sets from the Sword and Shield era including the beautiful Lugia, Silver Tempest. On our list you can see the 10 most valuable cards from Silver Tempest, including their value both in a RAW and in a PSA 10 version. The total of the top 10 cards in a RAW copy is $267 and a PSA 10 version $734. The price of a sealed Silver Tempest booster box today is $120. If we use the same calculations for Silver Tempest as we did with the Sun and Moon sets, we can conclude that today we can buy 2.22 booster boxes for the same price as the top 10 chase cards in a raw copy and more than 6 booster boxes for the top 10 chase cards in a PSA 10. Now, because we cannot make a conclusion based on one example, we also use this formula, this calculation on Lost Origin. Again, you can see on the screen the top 10 chase cards from Lost Origin with their raw value and PSA 10 value. The total for the top 10 chase cards raw is $488, and $1,250 for the PSA 10 versions, where a booster box price is only $172 on TCG Player. Now, I believe with some research, you can definitely find some cheaper booster boxes from Lost Origin. But let's stick to the calculation. That means that we can almost buy three booster boxes of Lost Origin for the same price of the top 10 cards raw and 7.2 booster boxes for the same price as the top 10 chase cards in a PSA 10 version. To compare this figure from Lost Origin with the average from the Sun and Moon era, we notice that a Lost Origin booster box today is almost three times cheaper than the Sun and Moon average, both compared to their top 10 chase cards. Is it safe to just copy paste this formula and take this as the only check we would use to make our investment decision? No. But I do believe that in case of Lost Origin, these numbers actually mean something. Why? This is a strong set, including an amazing chase card that is hard to pull. And why is this booster box so cheap then? Because of the recent reprint it had. Booster boxes are still everywhere, but the potential value inside a booster box is actually very high. And that for me is the confirmation that once this booster box get out of stock and supply is dropping, I do believe that this booster box can triple in value. And then to end, I want to emphasize one of the biggest sleeper sets from the Scarlet and Violet era, Paldea Evolved. You can still find booster boxes for a price lower than $100. The artwork from the set is actually amazing, especially cards like the Magikarp, which is pretty hard to pull, Tyranitar, Raichu, Iono. The total value of the top 10 chase cards is more than $1,250 in a PSA 10, which makes $95 for a booster box actually an extremely big investment opportunity today. And there you have my calculation I use to make better Pokemon investments. Now if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe and let me know down below in the comments your price predictions for Sword and Shield booster boxes. By doing so, you automatically enter our Umbreon Tin giveaway that will end by end of the week. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>